The Anatol Titan is coming together nicely. Stick around to see how far we got. The plan today is I'm going to move both of these crates out and then I'm going to move the base into place where the old press was at. So it's going to be a lot of work. I got a lot of organizing to do here in the shop because it's quite the mess. And we're here on a Saturday needing to get some, some stuff done. So let's get after this. Well, I'm hung up on the edge, so I think what I'm going to do is take some of these squeegees off, get a little bit of the weight off perhaps take the station arms off see if that lightens it up a little bit take the pallets out from this side so that way I can continue to move this thing forward so I'm pretty sure those pallets have some good weight to them and we'll get it outside and get these heads outside it's quite the project find out what that is later. There we go. Looks like a M&R style bracket, so if that's the case, I won't have to order as many pallets because I have one. <laughs> out that wasn't too terrible now I just need to get this thing further that way well the base is all tore down the cratings tore down to the base so you'll have to excuse the wind noise I'm waiting for my power drill to recharge and then I'm going to take this board off right here so that way I can slide the pallet jack a little further up underneath the press and that should help in me pushing this thing back getting that bad boy out of there and we can slide this one on in and put it into place I got that final board off now I should be able to slide the forklift underneath it or the um, pallet dolly underneath it and hopefully and slide this thing out. All right, now it's time to move the heads. I guess we'll see how difficult it is to move. Right, Apollo. Apollo's checking out the press. Got the, the heads out of the way. Now let's try and move that thing in. We're gonna park it right over there. And then who knows, maybe I'll assemble it myself. <laughs> After pushing and pulling for a little while, jacking things up, kind of finagling things, she's inside. I smashed my toe in the process. That didn't feel good. Okay. It is in place. Now I just have to rotate it. Oh, 
She's in her final place. For now, I might have to adjust it a few inches here and there, but I took some measurements all around, put the dryer in place, and I think it'll be good there. And the kids are out there with their lemonade or ice cream truck, having a good time. The crate of heads is finally back in, and this has been exhausting. I would definitely recommend renting a forklift. That would have made it a lot easier. But uh, here I am Saturday with the kiddos at the shop, just trying to get this thing as close to being ready, I guess, really. Just trying to minimize the amount of work that needs to be done when the press tech comes in, so that way we can get back up and running very soon. Tomorrow I'm going to come in and take the press off of the pallet and set it down. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is another day. I did not get the press off of the base. However, we had to catch up with orders. We're still working on things. I did manage to install an air fitting down there as well as I had to put my larger hose back in. And I also installed a little bit of a a tap over there for air tools and all that and I had to switch out a breaker in the breaker box for the flash because it does require 56 amps so I put a it's either 60 or 70. The press tech is on his way and as soon as he gets here we're gonna start uncrating all these heads and putting it together. This is Manny the press tech from Anatol and he says because he is on the video that if I get if we get famous and viral I get 90% of the royalties on it so there we go. All right. Well, Manny shows up and gets 90% after all the hard work I've put into it. Yeah, there 90, you go. 90%. <laughs> <laughs> I borrowed the forklift. We're going to move some things and get the base off of its pallet. That was ours. <laughs> it was All right, now. There you go. I'm like, finally, they just let me borrow it. I get royalties. <laughs> So Toltex, possibly. Yeah. TSC. Yes, he has. He hasn't. He doesn't have the details. We'll let you but more, know more soon. But apparently, he's shown like a million people the uh, video of me falling out of the chair. Oh, really? So that's how you get it. Is you fall out of your chair. And tell dad jokes. <laughs> and tell dad jokes. We are looking at the main uh, board on top of here. This is where your main power comes in. You got your PCB 35, which is your communication board that talks to the main control panel. Uh, you have your solenoid valves that will control your choppers. And you also got a little distribution board up here, which is the main power for your uh, uh, AC inverters. So that basically is what sends power out there. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much what it looks like in here until we get the main control panel with the touch screen on there. This is your inputs and outputs for your uh, front and rear sensor on your print heads. If you ever have a question in regards whether your sensor is working, sometimes even though the sensor might be lighting up, it might not be sending the input or output, and you could actually test them by actually bringing the head carriage forward to light up, say, the front sensor. You'll see an LED light up here. You can push the carriage back to light up the rear sensor, and you'll see the other LED light up, and that'll tell you that the input gotcha. is going to the board. And then, so those sensors are are things such as? Such as right here. There's a sensor right here. That sensor. That's your home right sensor. There. And there's also a sensor there's down a, here. There's one here too, yeah? That's for your lift up, meaning your okay. table up and table down. So is there only one cylinder that lifts the whole table? Yeah. Oh, only one, yes. that last machine had three. <laughs> this is your freewheel or your lock carousel uh, oh, valve. Gotcha. Gotcha. And this is your uh, lift. 
for your lift cylinder. So that is for this guy over right here, here which there. rotates. Yeah, this right. actually rotates up and up. This is your actual index drive or your servo drive. Right. So uh, and this is your lift cylinder. Obviously that's okay. where your main air comes in. Right. So we'll bring our hose down, hooked onto here, and that actually goes into this regulator here. Right. Okay. Cool. So yeah. Good to know. What's what's under that? This is all your this is all your uh, drive. You got a servo amplifier in there. Can I play Fortnite <laughs> on it? You can actually make it a little dinner table there. You can sit there. Oh, yeah, we have to kids now. So, <laughs> PCB. That's your index uh, PCB board. That's okay. what controls that drive. Sure. And Maybe. this is your amplifier. So basically, your main control panel talks to this board. This board talks to your servo amplifier. Okay. Or your amplifier drive. And that's what basically sends the pulses for the motor to max. And that's this guy talks to, to that, that motor. One. Now is that like a kind of a screw? Yeah, motor? It's, a, it's a screw. Yeah, it's right. actually a, a, a screw mechanism. Just right. imagine a big screw going and then in. Then it and just kind of goes back and forth back like and forth. that. Yeah, and uh, that's how the the volts work. Yeah, kind of. Right. Yeah, that, yeah. That's exactly. Basically, the other servo drives are pretty, pretty much the same way. Whether okay. it's a Volt, a Titan, or um, whatever the other machine is. Gotcha. And then you got your power supplies. One power supplies actually is power for your boards and stuff like that. The other power supply is well for your safeties and stuff, and uh, uh, for your safety bars and stuff. Right. Yeah. So you got now, to if something like ten years down the road, something comes up, is the machine smart enough to say, "Hey, it's." this particular piece here or it's just it's trouble matter of uh, breaking it down and troubleshooting okay. like let's say for example one of your safety or uh, your um, your board your your control panel is not turning on right. you know obviously you would test and make sure that you're getting voltage to it and sure. you would come down here and make sure you're getting 24 volts okay which makes sense. Yeah, so it's all I was like man maybe it's at the point where it's kind of like a card it just gives you a code and well, and, and, and if, it, yeah, even if it does, <laughs> you still have to break it down to where exactly where that issue is. You know? Well, right. I mean, like your alternator goes out in your car, and yeah, you got to take your belts off and. All right, Manny just left. We got all of the heads on. This thing is a pretty big press. Shanna did mention that it's a little bit bigger. I thought, I was like, nah, it's about the same size. It's a little bit bigger. Got about as much space as we had to begin with anyways. <laughs> but yeah, very excited. Let me, uh, I'm gonna walk you guys around and just kind of show you how it's looking so far. So here we go, we got nine colors. This station does lift up, so that way you have an unload station here, and then you got a load station if you have or are using all nine colors, then you would be 
loading and unloading from here. He's gonna come in tomorrow. Here are the arms. He's going to put those on. Essentially, I'll be able to do some more filming because he really did need a lot of help with these. These things were pretty heavy. Pretty heavy, much heavier than the, the Javelin, that's for sure. There's the, the flash right there. The monitor is back over this way. And the safety bars are over back that way. Pallets are over there. Ow! So we still got a lot of straightening up to do. But there she is. We gotta move the dryer back this way. But we'll kind of shuffle things around, get some of this stuff out of the way that doesn't need to be there uh, once it's all set up and ready to go. And there's a nice big bin of wood for the crating. Throw that away. Not sure what to do about that. Well, that's about it for today. I'll capture some more video tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss out on our vlogs of the, the Anatol Titan M coming together. And we'll see you guys in the next video.